Onyxia's Lair is Hearthstone's newest mini set, dropping on February 15th, and with it comes 35 brand new cards and a lot of new possibilities. So in this video, I theorycrafted five brand new decks that you guys can use for the new mini set. What's up guys, I'm Funky Monkey, your off meta deck builder. And in this video, we are going to be theorycrafting five different theorycrafted decks ready to use for the new mini set in Nixia's Lair. In all of these decks that you're about to see, I tried to include as many of the new cards as possible while still keeping the decks competitively viable. And all these decks in this video are handcrafted by myself, along with every single deck that you see on this channel, and I vowed it never to net deck. So if you like the most unique, creative, off-meta decks you can't see anywhere else, then consider subscribing so you can stay up to date with all these cool off-meta decks for the new mini set. But without further ado, let's hop into the first deck. All right, so first up, we have Raid Boss Anixia Druid. So this deck is kind of like a mixture between like Ramp Druid and Token Druid. We have the token synergy with like Glowfly Swarm and Arbor Up, as well as the new Scale of a Nixia card and also raid boss Anixia herself also summons a bunch of tokens so if any of those boards stick around we can potentially get a huge arbor up or even like a solar arbor up and then for our late game we do have our big dragons the Kazakasan and raid boss Anixia and we can guarantee drawing them with the cold tooth mine if we use wild heart guff to ramp past 10 mana we could even use resizing pouch to potentially get even more raid boss Anixias I just think that Anixia is going to be super hard to kill in this deck because not only do you have to get through all of her whelps before you get to her we can even and summon more whelps to protect her with that new scale of anixia card and if we're running low on resources or if we just want to meme around a little bit we can always play the kazakasan and craft a brand new deck and the deck that you craft with kazakasan uses like the duels treasures so they're extremely powerful cards and what you do is you discover five different cards and you get two copies of each and that's your new deck when you play kazakasan he does work even if you have no minions in the deck or even if you're in fatigue as well yeah i think this one has a ton of potential and one of the ones that i'm looking forward to playing the most next up on our list of theory craft we have this smokescreen death metal rogue. I have a feeling that this one is either going to be a meme or completely busted and nowhere in between. But it uses a lot of cool new shenanigans here. So it's built around the new smokescreen card, which draws five cards. Any death rattles that you draw automatically activate. So what we can do with this deck is we can play like a pole kilt to guarantee drawing our smoke screen on top for the next draw. And then once we play that smoke screen, because our deck is reordered because of pole kilt, we'll then draw into like a cursed vagrant and get a free seven five stealth. Then we draw into like burning blade acolytes and get those five eight taunts. Then we can draw into like the stubborn suspects, the Lillian and the Korak and activate all of those as well. Talk about a swing turn. We can also play a little bit more for tempo if we don't want to go all in on that smoke screen combo. Like we still do have like the sketchy information and the snowfall graver to kind of cheat out our Lillian and our Korax a little bit sooner. We are also running another new card, the Tooth of Nefarian. It's just three mana deal three unconditionally, which is really good. And we have the upside of giving another card back to our hand. So I kind of like this as removal over like backstab or wicked stab, just because you don't have to have another condition to do that damage. But yeah, I like how this deck can potentially like play for tempo or can play for those really big swing turns too. All right, third up on our list of three crafts is going to be this aggro demon hunter. Can we finally bring Aggro Demon Hunter back again? This one focuses on using the new Razor Glaive Sentinel, where if we play the left or the rightmost card in our hand, we get a draw. So it's kind of like a Stargazer Luna, but a better effect, but a little bit more expensive. So with this deck, we just want a super low curve. So when we play our Razor Glaive Sentinel, we can just pop off and just draw a bunch of cards while I keep playing our cheap stuff. And then we are also using the new Wings of Hate, which bare minimum is one mana summon two one ones, which is a Wolpertinger. And if you're at five mana, it just gets even better. So not only do we have a really aggressive early game with all this cheap stuff, we have a lot of refill and reload with the sentinel and we have a lot of burst damage that we can go face with the cane and with the Kurtrus hero this deck looks to be pretty explosive so i'm kind of excited to try it but i'm not excited to play against it next up for our new mini set decks we have this nazoth warrior so this one uses the new anixian drake which is a four mana four or five taunt and it comes with a free shield slam so naturally we want to be putting other armor gain cards in our deck and we can do that pretty easily by going Nazoth. So we have like the Scrap Golem, which gives us armor. We have Crush, which gives us armor. We have Cargo Guard, which is a pirate, which gives us armor. And because we are gaining so much armor, we can go ahead and face tank some damage with the new Hit It Very Hard card as well. So I'm treating it like a removal card, like one mana deal 10 to any minion. We don't really care too much about how much damage we're taking by hitting that minion because we have so much armor. And then for the finishers, we do have like like a Mr. Smite and we can resurrect like our Circus Amalgams and those are pirates so those can go charge. We have Rokara, which can go face with her weapon and the hero power. So once this deck gets to like the mid to late game, watch out. <laughs> 
And last up for our list of theory crafts, you're either gonna love it or hate it. It's a dragon priest. It's been a while since we've had dragon priest in standard, so I'm super excited. But this deck uses pretty much all the new cards that we can. It's awesome. So obviously we have to be running the raid boss Anixia and a dragon priest. We can also run the new light maw nether drake as well. It's not hard to have a holy and a shadow spell in hand at once. And if you look at the deck, there's a ton of shadow and holy spells. And then we can curve into the new Anixian warder as well. And along with the horn of the Rathian and all these little rush whelps that we have, we can actually play for tempo and priest. And to make things even more fun, we have the Kazakasan. So as we get near the end of our deck, we can play Kazakasan and build a brand new deck to keep going. And we are also running a couple raised deads. So if we're lucky, we can even raise dead more Kazakasans or more Anixias, or you get the idea. Yeah, I'm super excited to play Dragon Priest again and actually start playing for tempo a little bit more and play more minions and priest. Well, that's all the Theorycraft decks that I have for you for now for the new Anixia's Lair mini set, which is dropping on February 15th. And you can purchase it for 2,000 gold in game or I believe $20 US dollars. And I do plan on making a ton more fun decks just like this once the mini set releases. So if you want to stay up to date on all of them, then make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down below in the comments section, which deck are you most looking forward to playing for the new mini set? And if you found any of these decks helpful or interesting, then let me know by leaving a like on the video as well. That does help me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in Anixia's Lair and stay funky.